Oftentimes we see clients that um, come in uh, uh, for counsel regarding a dissolution of marriage. And as it relates to that marriage, one party or both parties had property, uh, be it through an inheritance or they won the lottery or they were just well off before they got married. That is property that they accumulated prior to the marriage. That's their personal property. Then they're married for whatever period of time and then they go through a divorce. While they're married, obviously, they um, have some community property, their jobs. They may buy another marital residence, a house, a boat, you know, some, you know, a motorcycle or whatnot. The question becomes when one party states a claim against or, or claims to have some interest, if you will, in the personal property of the other party that was owned by them prior to the marriage. Um, the broad rule is that your personal property prior to the marriage remains your personal property unless it was transmuted into community property and it was based on that understanding. Of, uh, th that, that's, the broad, that's the broad rule. Um, obviously, sometimes there's commingling of, of the personal property and the, um, the community property. And, and this is why I encourage folks early on to make sure they trace the property because if that, if that personal, if the commingled property can be traced back to personal property, then broadly it would be separated out and remain personal property. But it's without uh, controversy in this jurisdiction that what's community property remains community property. And so you would want to <clears throat> list out and, and uh, your lawyer will sit down with you uh, give you a form where you get a chance to list out what is personal property, what you believe to be personal property. If there is an interest that the other party claims in something uh, that you deem to be personal property, then the lawyer would look at that and then they would go through the tracing process and trace that property back and to see if it was transmuted into community property or if it in fact remained personal property. And again, that by all means requires the skill of a lawyer to look at that um, and determine whether uh, that remains personal property or that if it's been transmuted to community property. And so you would want to uh, seek out a skilled family lawyer uh, to help you through that process to make sure that you don't lose any interest in property that is actually a personal property and should remain personal property.